in Splinter's Low 1, the start of the Tri-Nations and the Aussies. Just the one change to the starting 15 that ran out against France a few weeks ago. Number 8, Cliffy Palu is back from injury. Just three men in that 22-man squad of tasty success in New Zealand against the All Blacks. And the Wallabies haven't looked like scoring a try since they butchered one early in the first half. Well, they've won the kickoff and now they were held on to it. And we've got Will Genier out there on debut. Here's Matt Giddo. Can he spark something? Not this time. What the a fairy tale if Genier, with his pace, could get through a hole. Possession the key. Patience. Gitto across field. It goes. Here's Robinson out in midfield. Big man. Will Genier. Now it goes down to oh, George Smith. They're a mile offside. The referee says they're not. Oh, goodness me. Alexander Genia, here's Gitto, Mortlock, Mortlock, wide ball, over on the right wing is Palu, Palu cuts back in field, 10 metre mark, Pops it the more. Mortlock it was, the other shaved head, they're offside, they're playing advantage, now here's Drew Mitchell, oh it's unbelievable, well full time is up, all they've really got to do is put it out, they know that they have made it 20 wins in a row at Eden Park, what they're calling the Garden of Eden. The new House of Pain in New Zealand rugby. Forget about Carisbrook in Dunedin. Here's Perry Weepu. Into the crowd it goes. And the All Blacks have opened the Bledisloe Cup Series of 2009 and the Tri-Nation Series with the win. McCaw is back, the common denominator for success in New Zealand rugby. New Zealand 22, Australia 16.